Hi, you're on to Beaver's Canadian Journey. My name is Habiba. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I am going to share with you a new stream. Well, not a new stream per se. It's a pilot program that has been around for quite a while, but Immigration Canada has renewed it, revamped it, has made the criteria um, more accessible. And the good thing about this stream is no required proof of funds exciting so before we get started please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon let's get started okay so this revamped renewed stream is for the caregiver pilot program and if you're familiar with this program, this is a program that it's, um, it's quite unique. It's one of those unique streams here in Canada. The program opens up uh, 1st of January and then in about a month, a month, no, in about a week or so, the program is filled up immediately. Okay, now this program has been successful in the past and because of this, Immigration Canada now has revamped the program we're in June 2024 and later this month they're going to give us more details about this new program. The good thing about this new program now is that when you come in, if you're successful with this program, the day you land Canada you become a permanent resident. The previous pilot program for caregivers, you come as a temporary worker and as you know, if you're a temporary worker you don't get all the benefits that permanent residents get. Okay, so they revamped it, they made it so much better. So we're going to talk about it um, really quickly. And as usual, what I like to do is to give you the criteria so that you can go back and decide if this is a stream for you and then you can start getting ready. Okay, because in a week or two, more details about this program is going to come out. And like I said, for the previous program, in about a week, the portal, the platform is filled up. So you want to give yourself good time to prepare okay now before I get into the criteria I want to answer a question really quick um, the video I put out last year someone sent me a very long email and said Biba every time you come out and you say Canada needs skilled workers but I've been applying at the federal level provincial level are you really sure Canada needs skilled workers okay so let me just tell you right now let's talk about this caregiver program Canada needs caregivers whether you're coming as a child care home support worker or the um, support worker program Canada needs this group of people how do I know that statistics Canada has said that in six years so we're talking about 2030 so by 2030 9 million people in Canada would have retired we would be under that retirement you know umbrella now, if this was a Canada was a country with a population of India or Nigeria or China or even the US, that would be okay. Canada, Canada is a population of less than 40 million people. So imagine less than 40 million people in six years, retirement population of 9 million. That is almost 25%. That is a lot. Right now, Canada has an aging population, low birth rate. That is the truth. Ask any permanent resident, student I see in Canada, any Canadian. They'll tell you one of the problems, aging population, low birth rate. Okay. Now, even reasons why workers are needed for the child care worker program. Okay. 20, 30, 40 years ago, child care workers were not needed. A lot of them were not needed. However, the trend has changed all over the world women are you know entering the workplace okay so mothers women entering the workplace and obviously now we need child care workers for the children some people will put their children in a daycare or a day home others want to actually hire um, a child care worker that has met you know that is qualified and licensed to take care of their children at home this skill in Canada is, is, is in high demand. And honestly, it's not like back home where you just say, oh, you just get a nanny or a, a, a house help. Here in Canada, nannies, au pairs, 
have qualifications, they're licensed, and they're seen as skilled work. They're in demand. Okay, so to answer your question, there is a high demand, okay, for caregivers, whether you're gonna be um, taking care of them at home or in a hospital or in a clinic, there is a high demand. So let's talk about this child caregiver program. One of the reasons why a lot of people like it, why it is in high demand, is because um, there's no proof of funds requirement. Let me just, let, let me start with that. It is employer based. Okay, so the honor is on you to get a job before you come to Canada. But that's why in the next couple of weeks, when IRCC have, you know, finished and finalized everything, you will know which employers are employing. But one of the good things and that I want you to have at the back of your mind right now is no proof of funds requirement. Okay, the second criteria is that the language requirement is one of the lowest I have seen. So whether you take the French or the English, we're talking of a level four. Now guys, take it from someone who has written the exam, the IELTS exam, three times. Level four is achievable and it is doable with minimum prepare, you know, preparation. I can tell you that. If you are thinking of going through the federal stream or a provisional stream, you'll be thinking of a level seven, eight or nine to be successful. But here they've told you minimum requirement level four. Doable. Easy peasy. Honestly, let me just put it out there. So whether you take the French or the English. Number three criteria. We are number three now. <laughs> I've lost track. Number three criteria is the educational qualifications needed. For this one, for the previous program, and for majority of Canadian um, skilled worker program, you need a post-secondary qualification, which you need to evaluate. So you need an HND or an OND or a bachelor's, master's, PhD. Here, easy peasy. All you need, the minimum you need, is your high school leaving certificate. So you need the equivalent of a Canadian high school leaving certificate. So if you're in West Africa or you're in Nigeria, what you need is your WAIEC certificate. Obviously, you should have gotten, you know, some good scores like C's, you know, minimum of C's. Okay. And I don't, like, I was reading the criteria, criteria for this and I was thinking to myself, these are actually doable points. CLB4 for the language, high school, not post, secondary, but the high school, no proof of funds requirement. Work experience, you need work experience of six months or 12 months experience, you know, taking care of children or as a support worker. And then of course, you need to get a job from a Canadian employer. Now this is where it gets dicey, this is where it gets tricky, but every year thousands of people come to Canada, no people already in Canada, people outside with this stream, with this program, because the criteria is achievable, I don't want to use the word low, but it's achievable, more achievable than other streams here in Canada. So if this is you, you meet the criteria, you're excited that there's no proof of funds requirement, but you have to make sure your police check and your background check, you know, a tick because you're going to be taking care of vulnerable people, children, you know, um, seniors. So those are really, they're going to be really thorough with the background check. So if this is you, then I think you should get excited. Okay, the old pilot program closes June 17th. That's in a few days time or in a few weeks time, 2024. And then we'll have more information. But for now, you can start preparing. I'm going to put some information in the description of this video, some links that you can go to and start preparing. Now, if you are, this is your first time here and you're new to everything immigrating to Canada and you want to find out more information, follow me here, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at Beavers Canadian Journey. And you can send me a direct message, you know, if you have any questions or put it in the comments section. Okay. Until next time, keep watching Beavers Canadian Journey. Have a good day.